All right, today's experiment is going to be making electroactive slime. Yep. What do we need? We need two cups of vegetable oil. So open the vegetable oil. Open. Fill it up to the line right here. All righty. Keep pouring, I'll tell you when. Almost there. Almost, just a little more. Just, just a tiny bit more. Just a, yeah, that's it. Good. All right, put it in your bowl. Wait, I gotta close this. I'm sorry. This. Sorry, sorry. Oh, it looks all weird. Well, it's vegetable oil. Kinda looks like, um, how should I call it? Water that is kind of pink. I mean, not pink, yellow. It is very yellow. Okay, now we need, what is that, three quarters of a cup? Let me see. Um, yes, yeah, three quarters of a cup. I can't see it. Search. This is a quarter cup, so we'll just use three of these. Tree. Tree. You know, you draw some in there. Yeah, that's why you do it over the bowl. Yeah, so you don't spill on your table. Yeah, which I guess we're going to do anyway, but that's okay. This kind of feels like we're making a cake or something. So, how Let's see. I don't know. It's supposed to be slime. Slime. Mm-hmm. So let's see what kind of a chemical reaction can we, we get from can, this. Can we color it? Um, yeah, you can leave it clear, or you can add food coloring. I mean, you can make it the uh, color if you want. Ah, there is a food color. It fizzes a little bit. Reach. I'll get this. You can feel it fizz in your fingers, too. It's kind of effervescent. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, I guess I'll have to help with that, too. Mm-hmm. More. Yeah, because I think you want to mix it till you get all the little blobs out. <clears throat> Should we add the food color now? I would imagine. I'm gonna make it green. Okay. <coughs> make it green. You have that, and I'll get you a whisk. How about that? A whisk? <laughs> Might make it mix easier. Yeah, probably. Is that good enough? I don't know. Mix it the same as the color you like. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> That the color seems to be separating inside of it. It just kind of looks like it's been peppered. Maybe green won't work for this. Well, it might be because of the vegetable oil that it just kind of suspends in it rather than mixes in with it. Well, it does look like it's been peppered. Well, it does. Of course, it is kind of taking on a slight green hue. I swear, if we have to use all of this bottle, I will kill it. So. I guess I'm gonna add some of this because it's dark. I don't know, this feels really oily. I don't, I'm not sure that this is gonna work exactly for slime. It's too watery. Maybe we have to add more cornstarch. Maybe. I don't know. I know it's also supposed to be refrigerated, but I don't know. Let's add another quarter cup of cornstarch. Sure. So far, this experiment just doesn't seem to be working. It kind of looks like we're just making a big blob of something. Well, it looks green now, but I, <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work. Maybe because you wash, um, maybe because you mix it with your hands. Okay. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe the oil is off your hand or something. Well, we're supposed to refrigerate it, too. After we get it mixed. Mix it! Mix it! So it probably helps solidify it a bit. Probably. Because right now it seems way too oil to be actually goo or something like that. Oh, it's supposed to be slime. Different, same thing. Well, goo is, you know, got a little more texture. Slime's a little it runnier. It still kind of looks peppered. It's still very watery. Alright, well, we'll put it in the fridge and let it get cold and see if that changes the, uh, the, the consistency at all.